We've all heard the expression garbage in, garbage out, and it's very important when you're modeling uh, that you need to be as disciplined as you can and accurate as you can if you're trying to get accurate takeoffs and accurate results. Um, we use a case in point. Um, I'm going to use Profile Builder 2 to draw a uh, 2 by 4 pressure treated plate. And I'm going to draw it at, say, 10 feet. Okay. So when I click on that and I open up Estimator, you'll see that it's, uh, if I go to Layers, there's my 2x4 underscore PT is the layer that this is on. It's 10 feet, but I'm my multiplier is divided by 16 because I'm going to be cutting these plates out of 2x4x16s by by that I'm ordering for it. So I need one 2x4 uh, to achieve this 10 foot piece, obviously. So you, want, you might think, let's update this by... Um, what if you wanted this to be 20 feet to fit a, a condition in your model and you thought well you can be lazy and I'll just double click on it and pull this out 10 feet okay so now when we look at it and we use our tape measure we'll see it's 20 feet okay but if we click on it it's still showing as one okay because we can't just use push pull with profile builder 2 we have to actually edit its path okay so I'm gonna undo that get it back to where it was before so now I'm going to double click on it and use in the profile builder tools here this um, edit path and you can see that there's a line in there uh, so what I'm going to do is actually move the end of that out 10 feet and hit enter and, and now it's 20 feet long and when I click on it you can see it takes two of them to do the 20 foot that I need so again you got to be just discipline when you're doing your modeling because its appearance is going to be that it's correct. It looks like it's 20 feet, but if you didn't edit its path, it's not going to report out properly. And and similarly, let's just take this face. I'm going to copy this face right here, uh, and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to just paste that face in there, and then I'm going to I'm going to draw a line out here 20 feet. I'm going to turn the direction 20 feet, turn 90 degrees, and I'm going to do the same 20 feet. And then if I use the follow me tool, okay, that's looking like it's 20 feet of 2 by 4s okay, but um, if I was to then put this all, I'm going to make this all a group, and I'm going to assign its layer to be the 2 by 4 underscore PT. I click on it and it shows that it's just two of them. So what's happened is it's just looking for the length of the bounding box. So we're not going to achieve any lineal footage in, in uh, accuracy and estimator by doing any other kind of method like that. Uh, it needs to follow a path. Um, so in other words if we use back into profile builder if we chose to draw that same condition there where we're 20 feet 20 feet and 20 feet now when we click on it we'll see we need five two by fours by 16 to do that so that's just a little uh, thing about accuracy and how profile builder 2 is a great way to, to capture lineal footages as well as the appearance of what you're looking for to model so it is an awesome tool all right, let's look at this roof for a second. Speaking of garbage in, garbage out, you're seeing a texture of this roof. Of you're seeing the OSB uh, oriented strand board texture that SketchUp has, and then a shingle texture on the top side of this. Um, you got to be careful not to think, well, I'll just it's shingles. I'll just paint this whole thing. If you painted the underside of this in shingles as well as the top side, you're going to double your results in Estimator. So if I clicked on this, and you're seeing I've got a dollar amount pre-assigned to that layer for the shingles but um, you can also use that shingle texture to calculate this sheathing that you need so you could use that one material and calculate as many products off of that as you want whether it's the shingles the material the labor the underlayment underneath here the the sheathing itself or you could assign um, to this texture as well um, so just be careful of overdoing the textures or applying it in places that you do not want to record results. For instance, if I was to click on this surface here and actually paint it with the same texture of the shingles on the underside, 
our price doubled. We were at 1700 before, and now we're at 3400 So that's because we've added it too many too many faces of it. So again, that's just a little lesson in garbage in, garbage out. Just being accurate and disciplined about your modeling, and then you can get accurate results. Thanks. Mm -hmm.